it was brewing for a couple of days. Um, you know, again, I, I said it earlier, I'll say it again. A lot of people took a lot of shots at this team over the last 48 hours. And uh, it, it really hit home to me. And, you know, the way that our team played, you know, not only did we physically get after these guys last year, but we did it again here at the end of the game. And I think it says a lot about this team. And, you know, I'm really upset and disrespected by what Lou Holtz said publicly about our team in Ohio State and Buckeye Nation. And we're not going to stand for that. But that's not even close to true. We had one bad half a couple years ago up in Ann Arbor. We did in the second half. But we, we, every game we play in, we're physical. We are. I don't know where that narrative comes from. But that ends tonight. This team right here showed toughness. They showed grit. They didn't give up. And they found a way to get that last yard. And I'm sick over those short yardages that we didn't finish. But, but that's the game. And the last matchup game we were in, we were one play short. This play, we finished it the right way. And I'm really proud of our team. What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz on a special, special Sunday, fun day, September 24th, 2023. What an amazing game last night. Oh, boy, I had to sleep in after that one. <laughs> Just a little bit. That victory shot tasted better than most. Better than most. Like a, like a, a former coach once said, very wise man, when I needed you the most, you gave me your very best. And we got that. Oh, man, we got that just when we needed it. Last play of the game, Buckeyes beat the Irish 17-14 in their house to continue the undefeated season 4-0. That was one of the best games I've seen the Buckeyes play. Um, not always the, the cleanest, not always perfect, but uh, just uh, offense and defense, keeping each other in the game giving up some plays here or there, giving away some plays here or there. But all in all, um, no turnovers. That's huge. Um, that tells you that the, the spotlight wasn't too big, wasn't too bright for Kyle and the other guys. Um, a lot a lot happened in that game, man. It's, uh, this is one of those wins, in my opinion. I, we've seen this before if you're of a certain age. This is one of those wins that can really galvanize a team. I mean, it's galvanized us fans, I feel. I, I've seen so many positive comments and just kind of everybody, you know, rallying. Uh, Ryan Day said it the best, uh, going in on Lou Holtz, as he should. I got a list of about a dozen more people he should go in on, uh, not just Lou Holtz. You know, he's pretty old. But Ryan Day said it the best, you know, it's always been Ohio against the world. And – this team is tough. I've been saying this for a year now. This team is not soft. Now, I would say to Ryan Day, on to counterpoint, if this team is tough, then maybe on fourth and one, you don't run a, an end around to a Mecca. That's play calling, though. Uh, that's not the player's fault. I mean, it's the player's fault. He didn't get it, but as a shit call, in my opinion. But anyways, Ryan Day stood up. For Buckeye Nation, I feel, and I feel like he's rallying the troops, not just the players, but the entire fan base, all of Buckeye Nation. And I feel like this is one of those wins that can really bring a team together. You know, you, you take that us against the world mentality, the Ohio against the world mentality, and you go forward you get this big win. You you obviously make some some mistakes here or there, but you get the dub, get out of town, and you learn from these big wins. This is only week four. The, some of the experiences these guys had in this game, like Kyle McCord, uh, Josh Simmons, Josh Fryer, the in, entire O-line, um, Hensman, you know, some of these younger guys that haven't played a lot of ball, these are huge experiences and confidence builders. I feel super confident about this team right now. I don't think we're going to – I wouldn't want to play Georgia right now, you know, but there is no great team in college football right now because it's only week four, you know. So I think uh, the Buckeyes really have uh, have really built something and it's continuing. This is only week four. Like it's a 12-step, you know, process, um, and I, I think – this type of win goes a long way when you're at, when you're playing Penn State in the shoe, probably a night game in October. 
you know, and the chips chips are down for a minute. Guys can pull back, pull in these experiences, say, okay, we've seen this before. You know, we've experienced this type of thing before. This is how we get past it. All right. We've done it before. Once it, it's, it's a very powerful uh, experience, in my opinion, not to get all Zen and woo woo on you, um, but it's a very powerful experience to actually do it, have success doing it. Like you, I mean, we've all had that in our lives, right? You've had success doing something that maybe you didn't think you could do, you know? And when, once you do it for the first time and you're, and you have success that, that way, you, the next time around, you have more confidence, right? I mean, uh, jumping out of an airplane or, uh, getting on a roller coaster, something simple like that, whatever it might be. Once you do it for the first time, the next time it's easier, you know? And so I think, you know, playing the team up North at the end of the end of the season, no matter what, the, what our record is, these experiences are going to help. And it's something you, you can draw on as a player because you have this confidence. Um, Jack Sawyer said after the game that that's the best offensive line they've played ever. All right. This is his uh, third year. So, yeah, he's played the team up north a couple of times. So, uh, anyways, that's uh, that's me and my uh, my heartfelt feelings. And uh, rallying the troops, there's never a bad time to rally the troops, right? And if you have to go in on an 86-year-old guy once in a while, so be it. He opened his fucking mouth first. Um, anyways, so let's talk drive. Uh, again, not a lot of scoring going on. Uh, the drive chart for the Buckeyes is putrid. Um, punt, punt, turnover on downs. After a 13-play, 70-yard drive, turnover on downs. Inside the – in or we got the one, I want to say. Yeah, at the one, Notre Dame one. Um, then a field goal after a 12-play, 66-yard drive. We were down at the eight – or at the 13, sorry. We we're at the Notre Dame 13. Those, were, those two drives were in the first half to four we only had four possessions in the first half we knew this was going to happen everybody is going to milk the clock run the ball but that's notre dame's like mo that's what they do they run the ball then the buckeyes come out uh third quarter touchdown one play 61 yards is kind of a good bad scenario where travion you know takes it takes the ball 61 yards but then marv gets hurt you know gets rolled up on from behind then you got a punt. Then turnover on downs after a seven play, sixty four yard drive. You you turn it over at their eleven. Look at look at where we're we're not scoring. These are these are concerns. Um, these red zone misses. You know, uh, we were two of four in the red zone, and and not not just in the red zone, but like the thirteen, the the one. You know, shit like that. This one was at the uh, eleven in the third quarter. Then of course the uh, finishing drive, 15 plays, 65 yards, one minute, 25 seconds. Kyle McCord gets it done. They converted uh, a third and 10, a third and seven, uh, fourth and seven, sorry. Uh, then a third and 19, they converted into the red zone. And then of course the third and goal at the one with with uh three seconds left, they convert for the game winning TD. So all in all, uh, one of those all time great moments. This is an instant classic. Um I'll be watching this about five or six times today, at least how many I can fit in uh before tonight's show. Don't forget 8 p.m. Eastern YouTube Live. Uh pop in there. Me, Jeff, and Sean will be giving you our uh Two cents, our tidbits, and uh, we'll really go in in depth uh, since we're not breaking down a game for next week. We can talk a little bit deeper about this game and maybe some of the other games around the country. But Buckeyes really shut down Estime. Um, now, as a whole, they allowed 183 rushing, uh, chopped up over five guys. But Estime only had 71 yards. Um had a five yard average, only had a 22 yard. That was his longest. So they didn't allow that home run, which, you know, all those guys, uh, love price pain, Devin Ford, uh, they all have, you know, that game breaking ability. So 
good to bottle them up somewhat. Um, and receiving wise, Hartman, they, they kept him in check. I mean, I didn't expect him to go nuts anyways. That's not their game. Uh, he was 17 to 25, one touchdown. Um, and receiving wise, they didn't really do much. Evans had seven for 75, um, 17 yards yak, had a 25 yarder, great house, 28 yarder, Tyree, 25 yarder. So again, kind of a bend, but don't break philosophy, I guess you could say for the Buckeye defense. Um, they, they got the dub, uh, Kept the uh, yardage to a, a minimum, I would say. Would they allow a total offense? Buckeyes allowed 351. That's good against this defense, man, or against this offense. Um, so very similar numbers here. We put up 366 total offense. The penalties were just atrocious. Um, Josh Fryer finishing a block, getting called for a JOP, jumping on the pile. Uh, no, he just finished the guy. Kept him on the ground. Next play. That was a terrible call. Um, Igbenosin's getting a little too handsy. We got to rein him in a bit. Something's got to be done. Either he's not using the proper coaching on technique or he's just being like outside of his head, you know, being kind of nuts. But, um, yeah, we got to tighten up those penalties. Uh, of course, Josh Simmons got his uh, obligatory one penalty for the game. Uh, fortunately, it didn't, you know, cost us greatly. It wasn't at a bad time. Um, fourth down conversions, just one of three. Uh, third downs, 10 of 17. Now, that's a good number. I'll take that. Uh, that's that's good conversions. We held them to five of 10 on third downs. So, uh, good job by the uh, the defense there. Just a couple TFLs. Um, man, uh Sonny Styles and Lathan Ransom on that, they had a, a stop on third down that uh really got the ball, the ball back to the Buckeyes. Um Ransom led the team with uh, seven solos, Proctor five, Igmadosin a couple. Uh yeah. Sonny Styles had three. And he actually played a lot. Um, I was gonna check his snap count actually. Sunny, sunny, sunny. He had 44 snaps out of 65 plays. So um, he did fine. He was fine. Um, didn't really have a lot of opportunities there. Just uh, did he even have a target? I don't think he had. Uh, let me see. Did he have a target? Sunny, just one target. Allowed one reception for 12 yards. Um, but, anyways, Big Benoson was the guy they went after. Six targets. That's going to be. Uh, the case going forward, we got to remember that uh, four receptions on six targets. Steele, they they targeted him in coverage, five of five on Steele, and uh, everybody else just had a couple targets. Um, Ransom allowed the big twenty eight yard reception. Cody Simon allowed that twenty five yarder. Steel Chambers a twenty five yarder. So, um, offensive wise, the Blocking was horrendous. These these grades are terrible. I can't wait to get into those. Um, the perimeter blocking by the receivers was great, but the the O line blocking was all down around sixty as far as uh, grades go. Um, pass blocking was better, of course, but uh, still, Donovan Jackson not not good at all. Uh, Matthew Jones okay. Uh, Fryer and Simmons led the team, obviously the tackles, but. Uh, all in all, uh, so many good things to, to talk about with this this team, this game. Uh, again, Kyle led the team when when we needed him. He was 21 of 37, 240. Did get sacked once. Uh, no touchdowns, but no picks, no fumbles. That's a big deal. Uh, Emeka leading receivers with seven, 96 yards. Cage, seven with 52 yards. Uh, Marv, again, the injury obviously hurt him, but he came back in and made that awesome diving catch to set up the uh, the game-winning touchdown. So, And don't forget about X-Man, Xavier Johnson, big 40-yarder. Um, so distributed the ball well. Uh, Chip had had a big reception for a first down on a, on a third and long. So, um, yeah, all in all, uh, everybody contributed and uh, got the got the win. I mean, that was that was a that was a gutsy win. 
So don't forget to join us tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, YouTube Live. We'll talk to you later. Go Bucks.